Let's solve using long division. Before we do that, let's get some terminology out of the way. This guy is called the divisor. This guy is called the dividend. Now if I make my division symbol, here's where you put the divisor, here's where you put the dividend, and your quotient ends up up here. Now if you do this and you get a number left over, that's actually called your remainder. So having reviewed that, let's continue to actually divide this guy. Okay, so now we're going to divide them. Remember this goes in here. And that's your dividend. The divisor goes out front. And we need to figure out the quotient. So to start that, I always look at the first term in both of these. And on this side, now when you get better at this, you don't have to do this on this side. But for now, we're going to write 8x squared divided by 2x. And I'm going to reduce that. 8 divided by 2 is 4. x squared divided by x is x. So that number goes right here. Now to figure out what goes under here, I'm going to distribute 4x into 2x plus 1. What I mean by that is I'm going to distribute 4x into 2x plus 1. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. So that goes right here. 8x squared plus 4x. Now, we always say we're going to subtract down. What I like to do, I think at adding is easier. So if I change my signs, I'm going to add down. It's the same thing as subtracting. So 8 minus 8 is 0, and that's why we picked 4x. Negative 6x minus 4x is negative 10x. And just like regular long division, I bring down this guy, and I get a 6. Now I'm going to start all over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, because that's the first term now, negative 10x, and divide it by 2x again. So now negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. x divided by x cancels. So now I'm going to just, so I put that here, okay. Now I'm going to distribute that through this guy. So I'm going to take negative 5 times 2x plus 1. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times 1 is minus 5. And that goes right in here. Negative 10x minus 5. Now I'm going to change my signs and add down. Well, this becomes 0. 6 plus 5 is 11. Well, 2x, this x, won't go into 11 because there's no x there. So this becomes my remainder. Now, we're really used to writing R11, remainder of 11, but we're not going to be doing that in algebra. So what we're going to do, and this is your quotient, 4x minus 5 plus your remainder, 11 divided by 2x plus 1. And that's how you solve using long division. Let's solve using long division. So to set this up, we need to take the divisor, this part, and put it out front, x plus 2. And we need to take this part, the dividend, and put it in here, x squared plus 5x plus 7. Now what we do is we take the first term in each of them. And I like to do it over here until you get good at it. Then you don't have to write this out. But for now, we're going to do it. So we're going to take x squared divided by x and reduce it. Well, x squared divided by x is x, and that goes right here. Now, to get the number that goes underneath here, I'm going to take x, this guy, and divide it in here. What I mean is I'm going to take x and divide it into x plus 2. x times x is x squared. 
x times 2 is 2x. And that goes right here, x squared plus 2x. Now, we subtract down, but I think adding is easier. So all you have to do is change the signs and add down. It's the same thing as saying I'm going to subtract everything. So x squared minus x becomes 0. 5 minus 2x is 3x. And I bring down my 7, just, just like regular long division. And then I start all over again. I look at my 3x and my x. And I'm going to write them over here. So I'm going to have 3x over x. And when I reduce it, I get 3. And that's a positive 3, so I write plus 3. Now I'm going to distribute this 3 through x plus 2. What I mean is I'm going to take 3 times x plus 2. So when I distribute it, I get 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. And that's what goes underneath here, 3x plus 6. Now I'm going to change the signs and add down. Well, 3x minus 3x is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. Now there's no x in my 1, so x doesn't go into 1. So this ends up being my remainder. But remember, we don't write, we don't write r. We actually write it as x plus 3 plus my remainder divided by x plus 2. Let's solve using long division. Now remember, this part goes out front, 2x plus 1, and this part goes on the inside. But remember, we need to look at this guy for a second, 4x squared minus 3. Remember, this has to be in descending order, and I'm missing an x, so I'm going to call that 0x, because I have 0x's. Then I will have descending order. Let me show you what I mean. 4x squared plus 0x minus 3. I have to show that I don't have any x's here. From there, it's just like we've done before. We take the first term and this term, and we're going to divide them. 4x squared divided by 2x. 4 divided by 2 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. So that gives me 2x. And then I'm going to distribute the 2x through this guy. So what I'm going to do is take 2x times 2x plus 1. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. And that goes right here. 4x squared plus 2x. Now if I didn't have, if I still had 4x minus 3, I can't subtract these because they're not like terms. That's why I have to have 0x here. And then I'm going to subtract down, but I like to add, so I'm just going to change my signs and add down. 4x squared minus x squared is 0. 0 minus 2x is minus 2x. And then I'm going to bring down my subtract 3, and I'm going to start all over again. So I'm going to look at my first term, which is 2x. And this term, so I'm going to take negative 2x divided by 2x. Negative 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I have negative 1. x divided by x is cancels, or 1. So that's what I'm going to put up here, minus 1. Now I'm going to distribute negative 1 through 2x plus 1. That means I'm going to take negative 1 times 2x plus 1. When I distribute, I end up with negative 2x minus 1, and that goes here minus 2x minus 1, and then I change my signs and add down. Negative 2x plus 2x cancels, or it gives me 0. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Well, since there's not an x in here, and there's an x up here, they're not like terms, so I can't divide them. So my answer is going to be 2x minus 1 plus negative 2 over 2x plus 1. Now, some instructors in some books will say the answer is 2x minus 1 minus 2 over 2x plus 1. These are actually the same answer. Um, I kind of like it like this, but it's really up to your instructor.